Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hi, I'm Charlotte and in today's video I have placed a big order from Arquette and I have got some gorgeous pieces to show you that will fit perfectly into a capsule wardrobe. And this is the first time that I'd actually placed an order online from Arquette. I've heard great things about the brand but I'd never ordered from there before. Um, so I thought I would try it out and obviously give you my honest opinion on the fit, the quality and the price point. Um, as usual, everything featured will be linked below in the description box. Any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, but let's get going with the video. Okay, so the first piece that I ordered from Arquette is this cream and black striped long sleeve top. And I feel like something like this fits perfectly into a spring capsule wardrobe. It's just one of those pieces that can be styled so many ways, just a really easy kind of throw on piece, but looks good. So I would style this with jeans, with like blue jeans, white jeans, black jeans, trousers, even shorts coming into summer as well. And I love the fact that this is over, like a little bit oversized. So as you can see, the sleeves are quite wide, a little bit, a little bit flared and the shape of it is quite oversized considering I'm wearing this in a size small. It's quite an oversized fit which I feel like gives it a slightly more kind of modern take on a basic long sleeve top. Um, this is 100% cotton I believe. Yes, 100% organic cotton. It feels really lovely quality and price point this one's £29 which I think is pretty reasonable for a good quality basic top like this that you'll get a lot of wear out of. So first up love this one okay next up are a pair of jeans and for me personally this is like my go-to style of denim pretty much all year round they're kind of a slim straight fit now they are showing up slightly lighter on camera because it's such a dull like dark day so my camera always kind of overcompensates and brightens everything up so it's making them look quite a bit lighter but i'll try and insert a cutaway to really show the true blue of them because they are such a lovely wash for me this is like the perfect shade of denim just really easy to style and the, the kind of shade of denim that you can wear all year round so works really well in autumn winter with darker colors but equally in summer with a white shirt or a white t-shirt just a really nice pair of jeans now when i first popped these on i thought they were going to be a bit small because they do definitely run on the small side so i'm wearing these in a size in a waist 26 which is my regular size and I did have to sort of squeeze into them to start with um, in comparison to like say the Reese jeans that I featured in the last video they were also a 26 but much roomier so I would definitely say to size up in these if you are unsure if you're in, in between sizes I'd recommend sizing up but saying that they do feel like they would stretch as well they've got a little bit of a stretch to them and so I think that if I just sort of show you the denim, they've got a little bit of stretch in them. So they feel like they would give. So I think for me, I could definitely get away with the 26, but I could also have got away with the 27 as well. Um, but the fit of these is so lovely. They are such a flattering fit, really flattering on the bottom. They are a mid-rise, which I think is great because they just sit at a really good place on the waist and they are a cropped fit as well. So perfect coming into spring summer with loafers, with trainers, with sandals. Just a really, really lovely pair of jeans. I'm so impressed with these. And yeah, like I said, super flattering on as well. Okay, next up I've got four basic items that I'm just going to run through pretty quickly. So I'm gonna start off with this basic black t-shirt. I've actually ordered like a basic t-shirt in all of these kind of videos that I've done, this new series that I'm doing. So first up it was a white one from Uniqlo, then a navy one from Reese, and a black one from Arquette. Obviously it goes without saying that basic t-shirts in a few different colors work so well in a capsule wardrobe and in particular a black t-shirt is kind of vital for a capsule wardrobe for me personally anyway um so this one is 100 cotton it was 17 pounds which again i think is a good price point from arquette considering it feels nice quality it does feel quite it's quite lightweight it's got an almost like silky feel to it as well it feels like it would wash well it's very soft very comfortable um, and I'm wearing this one in a size medium. I've gone for all of the t-shirts in a size medium and I would say that it's pretty true to size. I, th I like the fact that it's a little bit oversized on me. Um, I'd recommend sizing up if you want a slightly looser fit, but as far as t-shirts go, it's a great basic. It comes in a few different colors as well, I think. Um, and yeah, 
I'm impressed with the quality of that. I think if you're looking for a basic t-shirt, 17 pounds, this one is lovely. And then I also ordered a white t-shirt to try out. And the reason I ordered this is because I think it was called a heavyweight t-shirt. And it was a slightly higher price point. This one was 37 pounds. So obviously quite a bit more expensive than this basic one at 17 pounds. But I wanted to try it out to see how it would feel as like a more of a heavyweight fabric. Um, and actually when I pulled this out of the packaging, I was like, no, that's, that's not for me. It just felt a little bit too thick and I felt like it would be a little bit too stiff. But actually when I popped this on, I was really impressed. I felt like it looked really lovely quality. It does hang nicely despite it being a thicker material. It looks great tucked into a pair of jeans. Um, but if you prefer a lighter kind of more flowy fabric, I'd definitely go for this one because as you can see, it is quite a bit thicker. Um, again, I think that this one is 100% cotton. Oh no, this is 96% cotton and 4% elastane. So it's got a little bit of a stretch to it. I think personally, I prefer the slightly more lightweight finish of this, especially coming into spring, summer, that more sort of soft, flowy fabric. But I do think that this one does look really lovely quality. Sticking with basics, next up is this long sleeved cream top. And this is the type of piece that I personally get a lot of wear of this time of year for layering, but equally, I think great for just styling on its own with a pair of jeans and a blazer over the top. Although I say that, that was kind of originally what I thought it'd be great for, but this is a little bit see-through. So you'll be able to see from the cutaways. I had it on with a nude bra underneath and you could see the outline of my bra despite it being nude. So I think personally, this would be better as a layering piece, unless you were going to wear maybe like a vest top underneath it, because it is a little bit sheer. You can kind of see the coat hanger underneath it. Um, but the reason I ordered this is because it said it was a lyocell blend. And so I thought it would be really like silky soft. 52% lyocell, 38% cotton and 10% elastane. So it has got a lovely silky soft feel to it. Really lovely for layering. It's got a little bit of stretch to it as well. So it feels very comfortable on. And price wise, this one was 27 pounds, which again, I think pretty reasonable considering it feels lovely quality. And then sticking with basics, I also ordered this black vest top. And this is definitely my least favorite piece out of all of these, just because I thought it would be quite a flattering fit, tucked into jeans, maybe with a blazer over the top, but it just made me look a little bit boxy. I think you'll be able to see from the cutaways. I think the way it cut in, it made me look a little bit broad and then quite straight here. It's quite a masculine fit. So personally, I, didn't like the fit of this. Um, I think it looked better when I put a blazer over the top when you couldn't actually see it on. So I think like, as a layering piece with blazer and jeans, it worked okay. But on its own, I don't really like the way this bit here cuts in. It just didn't feel too flattering. Um, it might be that it might be because I went for a size extra small. I think maybe if I had it on in a small, it might have fitted me a little bit better. But I sized down because I wanted it to be a tight fit. But this one was also 17 pounds. It is also 100% cotton. So nice quality, but just not the greatest fit for me. Next up is this oversized camel jumper with black stripes running through. And the reason I ordered this is because I've got a couple of similar jumpers from And Other, and Other Stories that are a wool and alpaca blend, which is what this is. I wear them so much. They're just my go-to comfortable oversized jumper, whether it's with leggings, with jeans, with trousers, they're just an easy throw on piece. And I saw this one and thought it was a slightly different take on kind of like a basic camel jumper. Obviously you've got the black stripe running through it, which does make it slightly more autumn wintry, but I do think this style with a pair of cream jeans takes it more into spring as well, just on its own with a pair of jeans, or even with the blue jeans as well. I think that the camel and the denim look really lovely together as well. So this one was 89 pounds, oh no, 87 pounds. Um, so a little bit more expensive. I think, I'm trying to think how much the And Other Stories ones are. I think they're about the same price point. Oh, okay, so it's 35% polyester, 31% alpaca, 31% wool, and 3% elastane. So it has got a bit of polyester in it. So if you prefer natural fabrics, then obviously this won't be for you. Um, but it's soft, it feels comfortable on, and yeah, just a nice oversized fit. And I'm wearing this one in a size small. Next up is another absolute wardrobe staple for spring. Whenever I filmed kind of spring capture wardrobe videos in the past, I always feature a blue and white striped shirt just because I feel like this blue pair of white jeans or blue denim or even shorts coming in spring. It's just one of those wardrobe staples 
will come out year after year and this one is lovely it is 100% cotton it was £67 so obviously a higher price point in comparison to somewhere like H&M but it does feel lovely quality and it's a nice oversized fit I'm actually wearing this one in a UK 6 I ordered it in a 34 which I've just looked on the label and it says UK 6 and it is a very oversized fit as you can see and you can tell from the cutaway as well it's an oversized fit but just a great basic and then sticking with shirts another wardrobe staple for spring summer for me personally is a linen shirt um i actually love a white linen shirt but i also love a beigey kind of cream linen shirt as well again this is showing up slightly lighter on camera but it's just that classic kind of linen beige it's 100 percent linen it was 55 pounds which I think is a good price point obviously lower than the striped cotton one it feels lovely quality it's quite a soft linen it doesn't feel like sometimes linen can feel a little bit stiff whereas this feels nice and comfortable on it's oversized I actually ordered this one in the 36 so a UK 8 but again you can see it's an oversized fit and I actually quite like the way that the collar sits a little bit more open and again great with white jeans great with blue jeans great with um, denim shorts or even worn open coming into summer and I also love the way an oversized linen shirt looks over the top of swimwear especially if you size up I think that an oversized linen shirt works great styled over the top of a bikini or swimsuit okay I've just got three more pieces to go next up is a satin midi skirt and again i feel like this works so well in a capsule wardrobe simply because it can be dressed up or dressed down so easily so i would style this with either a black t-shirt or a black vest or kind of a black cami top and a black blazer and maybe a little pair of black kitten heels as a really easy go-to evening outfit but equally this during the day with a pair of trainers like vajas and a white t-shirt and a leather jacket or a blazer over the top works so well as well in fact for the cutaways i actually started with a neutral i think it was a linen blazer to give it like a lighter more spring feel and it looked lovely styled like that it looks great with a black blazer and this one was 77 pounds so a slightly higher price point however i have ordered satin skirts from i think i got one from h&m in the past and it's lovely but it is a little bit static on the legs sometimes when i put it on it does cling to my legs a little bit Whereas this one didn't do that at all. It does feel lovely quality. And I think the tone of it is gorgeous. It's like a really beautiful sort of mushroom, taupey colour. Perfect to be dressed up or dressed down. Um, and it does have a little slit either side as well. So a really lovely satin skirt. And it does come in black too. Next up is the softest cashmere cardigan. And this feels so lovely on. It's really beautiful quality cashmere you can definitely tell it is nice quality however it was 169 pounds so you would expect it to feel like that for 169 pounds especially in comparison to the uniqlo cashmere jumpers that i featured in that video i believe that they were 89 pounds almost half the price and they did feel really beautiful as well um this is lovely is it worth 169 pounds I'm not sure. It is really lovely quality. It is very lovely and soft. And I do think that a cashmere cardigan is a great wardrobe staple. I'm wearing one at the moment. And I just, yeah, one of those pieces that, again, you could be could be worn with jeans, simple outfit during the day. could be worn as work, wear a pair of black trousers and black loafers. Something like this looks great. I also love the fact, love how they look with a white t-shirt underneath as well. But definitely in comparison to some of the other cashmere pieces I've featured, a slightly higher price point so I thought I would order it just to try it out because I do like to kind of try out the different cashmere pieces and it does feel very 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 soft but like I said you would expect that for the price and I'm wearing this in a size medium and then the final piece that I ordered from Uniqlo and probably one of my favorite pieces from this order is this denim shirt jacket and this is kind of a cross between a shirt and a jacket, hence why I said shirt jacket. <laughs> um, but I love the fact that this can be worn like buttoned up as a shirt with a pair of jeans or a pair of trousers, but equally it looks great styled open as a denim jacket. I feel it's kind of a modern take on a basic denim jacket. And the shade of denim is just perfect. It's a really lovely soft denim as well. I think sometimes with denim jackets they've got quite a stiff feel to them but this feels really soft and comfortable and you can always tell by 
the way it moves it just feels comfortable on I love how a denim shirt or jacket looks with a pair of white jeans but actually I didn't style it with these jeans and I think are they the same colour? I think they might be matching so I might try them on um, and see how they look styled together for a full denim look I feel like that could kind of work it was um, 87 pounds which I think again is a pretty reasonable price point and again I ordered this in a 36 so a UK 8 and it's quite an oversized slightly boxy fit I feel like the fit of it makes it look quite effortlessly cool just like I said thrown on a pair of white jeans or even over the, over the top of dresses I think that this would look good as well that's everything that I ordered from Arquette and again I think pretty impressed with most of the pieces quality wise I feel like it's kind of on par with and other stories for quality and price point um, slightly higher price point but definitely really lovely quality pieces really great wardrobe staples and I think when you are investing in wardrobe staples you do want to spend that little bit more so that they do wash and wear well and kind of stand the test of time I would love to know your feedback or what you think of all of these pieces and also if you've shopped at Arquette before um, how you feel of yourself about the quality and how things wash and wear do leave a comment below and let me know um, and also let me know your favourite piece as well like I said I think it would have to be this but also this is just a really great just a really great basic that one of those pieces that I think I would wear a lot um, oh and actually the jeans the jeans are really great really great pair of jeans um, but anyway if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up if you're new here and you enjoy this style of video then don't forget to subscribe because I have lots more coming and do leave a comment below with any other brands you would like to see me focus on in future videos um, but that's everything thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video bye